This termite species have found a way to even out the vastly different surfaces they have to cross to reach a food source. Where the gaps or height differences between leaves and twigs become too great, they build roads, bridges, and tunnels. With sand and earth gathered from the forest floor. Another form of termite concrete. They use it to construct a direct route to the food, saving time and energy. It's a superhighway taking rush hour traffic through the most difficult and complex terrain. Pheromone trails regulate the traffic as smoothly as road signs and traffic lights. The tunnels are even designed with one lane in each direction. Soldiers line the entire route, facing outwards, sniffing for danger. These are a big-bodied cast, their heads converted into chemical guns. Their antennas scan the air. The forest is full of risk. Closer to home, the engineered roads and tunnels become still broader. Nothing impedes their forward march. Workers cutting up dried leaves to take to the nest. The detritus they leave behind rots away and helps new plant growth on the forest floor. Cutting up dried leaves is hard work. It takes two hours to make a leaf disappear. And this termite species eats only leaves. We're only just starting to understand the termites' role in the planet's ecosystems, but it looks as though they have a positive effect on the lives of almost all plants and animals. So instead of focusing on extermination, some researchers are beginning to think we should be protecting termites all over the world. Through 150 million years of evolution, termite species have learned to process any kind of vegetation, dead or alive, into food. That adaptability has been their great strength. And with their perfect social systems, termites should effortlessly dominate their environment. But here in the jungles of Borneo, there is a predator. Tucked up in the dry leaves, it looks like a snake. As it stretches out, you might mistake it for an armadillo. But the only thing it has in common with armadillos is that, like an armadillo, it's not a reptile. It's a mammal. This is a pangolin. The pangolin has long claws to break into termites' nests. 
where it uses its sticky tongue to lap up the insects wholesale. Today the termites are lucky. An ant colony is paying the bill for the pangolin's dinner. But termites don't just face a threat from pangolins. These soldiers are scanning for a very different enemy that they can't see but may soon sense. A platoon of weaver ants has targeted the termite column. Their scouts have chosen the perfect ambush site. An ant patrol inches toward the termite highway. The worker termites seem too busy to notice the danger. Some of the termite soldiers have picked up the hostile scent, but they may not leave their sentry posts. The ants spend time scouting out a gap in the termite's defense line. Finally, they opt for a head-on assault. The termites are not defenseless. The tiny termite gunner has aimed well. It tries to wipe off the acid spray in vain. Termite soldiers launch a counter assault and engage the enemy in a skirmish. A few ants manage to retreat with pieces of termite booty in their jaws, but the tiny defenders have stood their ground thanks to their chemical weapons.